In the earlier video, we took a look at errors in your ending inventory. Now, let's look at your errors in your beginning inventory. This time, we're going to assume that our beginning inventory was overstated. Again, remember, overstated means too high, so the balance of 1,000 beginning inventory would have been too high. I'm going to tell you that the correct amount should have been $500. So your beginning inventory was overstated. We assume that our purchases and our ending inventory are correct. That means your cost of goods sold is also too high. It should be 4000 Now how did we get 4000 We said that our beginning balance should have been 500 which means our cost of goods sold should have been 500 plus 5000 minus our ending balance of 1500 giving us a balance of $4,000. Now let's look at the effect of this error on our income statement. You know that our cost of goods sold should have been 4000 which means our gross profit should have been 6000 and our net income should have been 4000 4000 is our cost of goods sold, which means 6000 for our gross profit after we subtract it from revenue. After subtracting $2,000 of expenses, our net income should have been $4,000. So the effect of beginning inventory being overstated is that cost of goods sold was overstated by how much? By the amount of the error, by $500. How about gross profit and net income? Net income was understated. It should have been $4,000, but because of the error, we said net income was $3,500. So if your beginning inventory was overstated, then your cost of goods sold would have been overstated and your net income and gross profit would have been understated. By how much? By the amount of the error, by $500. Finally, let's look at what would happen if the beginning balance of inventory was understated. We're going to use the same example. Understated means that the balance in our beginning inventory is too low. And I'm going to say that the correct balance should have been 2000 If our correct balance is 2000 what should our cost of goods sold have been? That would be 2000 plus 5000 minus 1500 Our cost of goods sold should have been 5500 Now let's take a look at what the effect is on the income statement. Cost of goods sold we said was 5500 which means our gross profit is 4500 As you all know the way we calculated this gross profit is we took the revenue which was 10000 by what should have been correct amount of 5500 to give us 4500 Then we're going to subtract our expenses to give us a net income of $2,500. So, if our beginning balance of inventory was understated, our cost of goods sold was also understated. By how much? By the amount of the error, which was $1,000. It was $4,500, but it should have been $5,500, so the amount of the error was $1,000. Your net income and gross profit was overstated. Again, by how much? By the amount of the error, which in this case was $1,000. So if you're given a question about inventory errors in your quizzes or your tests, recreate an inventory account and prepare a fake income statement so that you can work out what the effect of the error is. Another option would be for you to memorize that little um, chart that's in your PowerPoint, but if you know how to work out the effect of an inventory error, you will never get those questions wrong.